course starts spitting with rain as soon as we start cruising. It's very, very, very light. Right very, there. very, very light. <laughs> Hopefully it'll clear up soon. Yeah, well the weather reports is the sun is supposed to last maybe an hour. Yeah. Today's plan is to get off the Calder and Hebel navigation because we're about five miles away from Sowerby Bridge, which is where the Calder and Hebel becomes the Rochdale Canal. And once we get onto the Rochdale Canal, we <laughs> it's probably mum. <laughs> uh, once we get off the Holder and Kebble. No, yeah, Holder that... and Kebble. Holder and <laughs> Kebble. Holder. It sounds like a food, isn't it? Like uh, for dogs. <laughs> once we get off the Calder and Hebble, we no longer have to worry about the really short locks. So we've got, I think we counted about nine more locks, which yeah. are all potentially quite short. When we did the other locks the other day. It felt like a long day. We didn't yeah, stop yeah, cruising yeah. until about 5.30 in the afternoon, which is a long day for us. Yeah, it is. It was hard work and a lot of those locks were <laughs> tiny. Yeah. But that's the plan for today. And yeah, so it's only five miles to get off the Calder and Hebble, so we should do that pretty easily. Yeah, it should be pretty easy. And then we'll be onto the Rochdale yeah. and heading south. Nice. Hopefully that means we're leaving the rain behind. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs>
Very slow, yeah. Very slow. Guess they want to give you as much time as possible to get out of the way. There are two more at Sowerby Bridge just before a short tunnel where there's either one or two locks on the other side. The map book isn't very clear, but we'll yeah. find out when we get there. But technically they're on the other side of the tunnel, so they're technically on the Rochdale. Yeah, technically. <laughs> but the last two locks that we just came through after the guillotine lock. Yeah, we barely fit. They were very close. They were the shortest ones that we've been in. And I think that was mainly because they were also the deepest ones that we've been in. Yeah, more of a sill. There was more of a sill, whereas a lot of the other ones, because they were quite shallow, there wasn't really a sill. And so you could just butt up straight up against the V of the gates. So you had that little bit more room. But obviously the sill takes up at least a foot or so. Yeah. And because those ones were quite deep, we just, just managed fit. to get in. So if you have a 60 foot boat, you can do it. I mean, we're still going to see if we can get through these last two at Sowerby yeah, yeah, Bridge. Yeah, yeah. If we have to turn around and go back now... It's going to be devastating. Yeah. Yeah. If you've got a 60 foot boat and you want to do the Calder Hebel, do it from Leeds way and up. Yeah, go up the locks. That way you're not going to get caught on any sills. Yeah, yeah. That's what I would recommend. Yeah, recommend going up. Yeah. If you've got a 60 foot boat. If you want to do it, just go up the Leeds and Liverpool and back around and up. Yeah. Yeah. We stopped just below the last two locks on the Calder and Hebel navigation last yesterday afternoon. Yesterday afternoon, yeah. <laughs> because as we came up, 
it was coming up to two o'clock and of course there it was super is busy. there's a hire boat company just in the basin um, that comes off the canal mm. and so everybody was picking up their boats and going up, up the these locks. locks onto the Rochelle so it was very busy <laughs> so yeah. many boats and since these ones are operated by lock keepers, they're only on until four, which means last entry is about. Well, it's not these two. It's the, the it's further ones. The two lane lock um, yeah. only operates on weekends, and is operated by CRT staff. So, yeah. and they only operate. It's like last boat through at like three thirty. So by the time the rest of these boats went through, it was about three o'clock. And by the time we would have got through, it would have been after the three thirty. Yeah, we decided let's not rush through it, and we'll just wait here and go and go through kind of first thing in the morning yeah. so yeah so yeah we stopped here for the night it was it was all right, it was all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah if you enjoyed this vlog don't forget to give it a like and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time bye bye